Nvidia appears to be in a battle of its own creation with the RTX 4090 and the RTX 3080 Ti. The war between these two game-changing GPUs appears to be the pricing of both cards, the performance, TDP, and additional factors around their cutting-edge GPU technology. Ultimately, the difference between both GPUs and which wins your heart is going to depend on the size of your pockets and what you wish to do with your gaming PC. Following the release of the 4090 on October 12th this year, there has been a huge contemplation among ardent gamers on whether to upgrade their 3080 Ti to what could be the fastest GPU in the whole world. The RTX 4090 is still the only version released in its series and costs a whopping sum of $1600, while other versions such as the 4080 are to be released in November and the 4070 may be released next year. So let's ask the question, what makes the new 4090 so different to be priced so high when compared to the 3080 which only costs $829? What are the benchmarks of this GPU of packed awesomeness? And is it really worth the next gen upgrade? Don't worry, we will help you answer every single one of those questions and more in this video. Let's get into it. So, the launch of the 4090 marks the landing of Nvidia's first Ada Lovelace GPU. It brings with it new technologies, new enhancements, and a big uplift in general GPU performance. Utilizing TSMC's N4 node to accommodate nearly twice as many transistors as its predecessor, the 3080. The AD102 die takes a seemingly brand new approach to bridging the low frame rate gaps, possessing above 50% more CUDA cores than the 3090. It manages that while still increasing clock speeds dramatically. Nvidia also confirmed that the Lovelace GPU will benefit from new generation RT and Tensor cores. The increased core counts were also redesigned with features like shader execution reordering that promises to boost ray tracing performance. Nvidia also confirmed that the Lovelace GPU will benefit from new generation RT and Tensor cores. The increased core counts were also redesigned with features like shader execution reordering that promises to boost ray tracing performance. Recall that the 3080 Ti is infused with a grand total of 10,240 CUDA cores spread across 80 streaming multiprocessors, 320 third gen Tensor cores that accelerate AI and DLSS, and 80 second gen RT cores. It also has all 112 ROPs enabled besides 320 TMUs. The 12 gigs of memory maxes out the 384-bit bus, but the memory clock runs at 19 gigs, making the memory bandwidth a whopping 912.4 gigabits per second. 4090 and 3080 Ti Specification The RTX 4090 uses Nvidia's new Lovelace architecture, while the 3080 Ti uses Nvidia's Ampere architecture. The Ada Lovelace microarchitecture is based on TSMC's 4 nanometer N4 technology, making it half as small as the previous generation Ampere chip based on Samsung's 8 nanometer process used in the 3080 Ti. This smaller nanometer, brought by improvement in the node process, allows for the 4090 and all of the RTX 4000 series to efficiently deliver more power with less space. The 4090 has a base clock speed of 2235 MHz, which is 870 MHz, 64% faster than the 3080 Ti's base clock speed of 1365 MHz, and also a boost clock speed of 2520 MHz, 855 MHz or 51% faster than the 3080 Ti's boost clock speed of 1665 MHz, which means that the 4090 can handle higher workloads and deliver higher performance than its predecessor. The 4090 has 16380 for CUDA cores, which is 60% more than the 3080 Ti's 10,240 CUDA cores. While you may wonder what CUDA cores actually are, CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture, and is the NVIDIA GPU equivalent of CPU cores that are designed to take on multiple calculations at the same time. More number of CUDA cores means more data processed in parallel, which is significant when you're playing a graphically demanding game. Also, when it comes to ray tracing and AI, the 4090 outputs 200 RT teraflops per second, which is 199% faster than the 3080 Ti's 67 teraflops per second. Following that, it has a pixel rate of 438 gigapixels, which is 135% faster than the 3080 Ti's pixel rate. In the arena of temperature and power, the 4090 still outshines its predecessor by having 450 watts of TDP, which is 29% less than the 3080 Ti alongside a minimum power supply requirement of 850 watts, which is 13% less. Lastly, talking about memory, the 4090 beats out the 3080 Ti hands down in every single category. The 4090 comes with 24 gigs of RAM, which is twice as much as the 3080 Ti. It has 21 gigs per second of memory output, 11% faster, 1018 gigs of memory bandwidth, which is also 12% faster. While the specs already given give you a hint of how much of a beast the 4090 is, let's examine the benchmarks in case you're not convinced. 4090 vs 3080 Ti Benchmarks The benchmarks of GPUs were done with titles supporting DLSS 3, including A Plague Tale Requiem, Cyberpunk 2077, and Formula 1 2022, among others. 
The 4090 is found to be two to three times faster than the 3080 Ti in a Plague Tale Requiem, with the latest iteration of DLSS making it obvious that Nvidia has clearly focused on ray tracing performance, courtesy of the third gen RT core. Even AMD will need to bring out more guns to compete appropriately with the Lovelace, as the Radeon RX 6800 trailed far behind. Likewise, the performance of the 4090 in Cyberpunk 2077 is amazing. Imagine going from 65 FPS to over 160 FPS with ray tracing cranked all the way up to Ultra. This leaves no doubt that it is 2.5 to 2 times faster than the 3080 Ti with DLSS 3 and native respectively. The results of Formula 1 2022 was quite the same. The 4090 is more than 2 times faster with DLSS 3 and roughly 70% at native, once again indicating rather selective changes for the graphics engine, maintaining a lead of over 70 to 100% over its Ampere predecessor. The 4090 also dominated in Apex Legends with an exceptional frame rate of 190. The 3080 Ti managed to hold a respectable average frame rate of 120 FPS, which unfortunately didn't quite reach the 144Hz sweet spot for top gamers. Examining the 4090 in Battlefield 2042, its frame rate shot up to 144 FPS, a perfect mark for buttery smooth gameplay, while the 3080 Ti was unable to cross the 100 FPS boundary, only managing to reach a reasonable 85 frames on average, which is more playable at 4K. Is it worth the next gen upgrade? It would not be an exaggeration to say that the 4090 is an excellent GPU in practically every scenario when it outperforms all other GPUs available on the market right now without a doubt. And although the 3080 Ti definitely holds its own by contrast, the 4090 offers consistent performance way faster than the RTX 3000 card. The best answer to your question of whether you should upgrade is if you need to. If your gaming PC is struggling to run the latest games with medium to low settings, then yes, you can consider upgrading your machine. The major reason you should consider this GPU is the raw power it offers, all thanks to the new streaming multiprocessors from the Ada Lovelace architecture. Additionally, if you haven't noticed, the 4090 comes in at almost double the price of the 3080 Ti, meaning you have got to consider whether or not the new card brings its value to your setup. If you plan on playing and streaming the high-end games and newest releases, then an upgrade will certainly enhance your experience. However, if you plan on sticking to classics and you happen to be the type of gamer who doesn't stream that much, you won't likely see much of a change in your performance because all would seem the same as if you were using the 3080 Ti, as it is already able to pump out maximum performance on less intensive games. Simply put, if you want the best of the best any gamer would wish for, then you can choose to upgrade to the 4090. However, if you are a conservative gamer who is more concerned about price to performance ratio, then you should stick with the 3080. Another option will become available later in November with the 4080 and we will see how that performs. The 4090 is the most powerful GPU ever produced and ever released on the market as of right now. But the 3080 Ti is still a great GPU. Which one are you going to be keeping or which one are you going to be getting? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video ideas or topics that we should cover. If you did not like today's video, please leave a dislike and let us know in the comments down below what we can do better and how we can be more accurate with our information. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.